All right, so you've got a floating floor. Now it's time to consider the supporting products that go with that floating floor. And one of the critical components is your moisture barrier and acoustic underlay that will be installed there under. There's a whole lot of different types that are available in the marketplace and it's very easy to get confused and what do you need to focus on? So when you start entering the market, you have to make sure that you are putting in a moisture barrier, especially if you're going over a cementitious substrate. Now you get different grades of this plastic. So you can get an independent plastic or DPM, or you can get a pre-bonded plastic to your acoustic component. So let's just focus on the plastic for now. You get low density and high density. For flooring, you want a high density and you want virgin plastic predominantly, or you want to make sure that if you've got a recycled plastic, that it is of a thicker grade because low density recycled plastic just does not last. When it gets exposed to the different uh, alkaline salts and uh, the moisture, it breaks down very quickly. It almost like decomposes, becomes brittle, cracks, flakes, and doesn't act as a moisture barrier after as little as six to 12 months. And if you are installing a floor that is going to last five, 10, 15, 25 years, you want a moisture barrier that's gonna give you that protection. So we wanna focus on as thick as possible and virgin plastics, high density. On average, an 80 to 100 micron is more than suitable in virgin high density plastic. If you're gonna consider a recycled or another alternative, check the quality, make sure that your flooring that you're putting on top supports the moisture barrier that you are thinking of using because you could void your warranty if you don't choose the right product. Now, when you are installing the plastic, you need to make sure that if you have any joins in the plastic, you're rolling out sheets alongside each other, that you need to overlap those sheets and you need to tape them down. Some products will come with a release tape where you just pull the release tape and then you can push the next layer on top, like this one over here. So that's the flappy bit and that's the piece that has the adhesive tape and you would put the acoustic layer down first, all right? And then you would put the flappy bit over, release the tape and push down. You wanna make sure that you put the acoustic layer on the bottom in contact with the slab and the moisture barrier on the top. There's a very important reason for this. Because you have a floating floor, like a laminate, a laminate is going to slide and be able to move a lot easier when it's installed on the plastic. If you had to do it on the reverse, on the rubber or on the cork or on the aerothene, it's going to be almost like rubber boots on the slab. It's going to resist uh, movement and you want the floating floor to be able to move freely as it goes through its variable climatic conditions and is expanding and contracting. When we come to the acoustic underlay, this has two different attributes that it adds to the installation. The first attribute, if you had a hard surface going directly onto the cementitious slab and you walk on it, it's gonna sound quite crunchy as these two hard surfaces clash together. It's gonna to sound quite crispy. So you get traditionally an aerothene or an underlay that's going to sandwich in between the two and that's going to give you a nice soft foot feel. Obviously, as you improve quality, you'll get a better experience. When you start looking at higher grades of this cushion medium, they start really adding value in the acoustics, the experience of the floor. When you're walking over it, the sound that it makes, the sound that it transfers potentially to the room or the resident below you. There's quite a few different options available in the marketplace from crumbed rubber, which I'm busy installing in the background here, to cork, to natural rubbers, to variable density foams as well. They all have different acoustic ratings or sound deadening properties. And it's worthy exploring these because they do add value to your flooring experience. Some flooring products come with an acoustic medium already pre-bonded to the underside of the plank. Those are absolutely fantastic products. IXPE, EVA, Cork, 
One thing we need to be careful of is that if the product, the plank, does have a pre-bonded acoustic medium underneath, you cannot go and use a soft acoustic underlay like Aerithene or EVA as well. You can't double up on this underlay because what that's going to do is it's going to allow for too much movement on the joint structure when you are walking across the floor or you've got directional point loads, especially over the joint system. The joint system will shear, okay? So the floor will start failing depending on the volume of foot traffic that you have traveling over that floor. What you can do, however, is if you choose a high density acoustic medium to go underneath that pre-bonded underlay, or if you want to increase the acoustic properties, you can go for thicker, high density um, acoustic mediums like cork, which acts as an excellent isolator when you are wanting to increase the acoustic properties. If you are going over a timber floor, there is a word of caution. Moisture barriers can cause absolute chaos with the timber floor or the timber substructure they're under. Always chat to a specialist so that you can understand what is the situation of the airflow happening below in that crawl space or in that voided cavity below that substructure because that timber floor needs to continue being able to breathe and have cross-directional airflow. If you seal that timber substrate off, you could create a little bit of a greenhouse environment underneath, which could cause both of your floors to fail horribly. Considering the right underlay is absolutely integral in safeguarding your flooring investment. And for the sake of a few extra dollars or rands, please do your research or get credible installer advice. This video is brought to you by FinFloor, one of South Africa's leading importers and distributors of quality flooring products. Thank you, FinFloor. If you enjoyed this video, follow the series. We are covering every stage of a floating floor installation.